the world of Witcher 3 is a call to adventure. Working on it, filling it with content, was a really exciting task, because apart from key locations, we weren't really limited in placing anything in it. We took close consideration of all terrain given advantages and placed battlefields, villages, castles, ruins to places where they belonged in the most natural and immersive way. Scattered across the world we've created are hundreds of points of interest. From natural rock formations to abandoned buildings, these points of interest will tease you, some of which can be seen from a mile away. Each one was handcrafted with its own backstory, its own challenge, and of course, most importantly, its own reward. While developing The Witcher, one of the key intentions was to create a world that is as similar to the real life as possible. That's why we've created a complex community system which is growing along with player and the storyline. Novigrad, which is the biggest city in the game, holds almost 2,000 residents and each of them has its own agenda and his own life. Moreover, every person that you meet on your way in the game has their own set of reactions. And not only just to greet Geralt, but also they can be afraid when Geralt draws a sword, or they can complain about the weather conditions, or Geralt can overhear them talking about his past actions. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt features a very vast and open world that you will explore any way you want. If you get bored by walking on foot anywhere in the game, at almost any time you can call your own horse. You can also cross rivers, lakes and seas using your boat. However, it might get attacked by sea monsters or destroyed by a sea storm. You will be using this boat not only in quest but also to reach regions that are not accessible otherwise. And if you decide you don't want to use your boat anymore, you can always take a step overboard and go for some swim. Because Geralt is swimming and diving now too. And for those who value their time, we have also the fast traveling options. You will be able to use the fast travel points in every major place of the game when you unlock them in your quests. The Witcher features also a very, very complex day and night cycle, which will affect the environment around you. As night falls, New beasts and unique monsters will awake. Now, as a witcher, it is your choice to wait for dawn, or you can risk it and travel at night. As you explore the vast and rich world of the witcher, you'll come across various encounters. The location, the weather, or the time of day will dictate the sort of experience you will have. You may, if you're lucky or unlucky, see a werewolf roaming through woods or during the day, maybe some wild dogs chasing a deer. And all these are totally unique to you. Geralt's original profession is a very important part of the lore, so we wanted to treat it respectfully. We wanted to give players the opportunity to really try what it's like being Geralt. A Witcher's sole purpose is to find and slay monsters. To even the odds, they go through rigorous training and also undergo many mutations that give them superhuman strength and reflexes. When hunting, a Witcher's first task is to investigate. Just like in a real hunt, players can stumble upon these monsters in many, many ways. Geralt can pick up their tracks and marks using his Witcher senses, villagers might complain about mysterious disappearances, or the monsters might just straight on attack him when he's roaming the wilderness. Then, a Witcher must prepare for the fight. Geralt is never alone with his sword. He can take all sorts of elixirs, bombs, alchemical concoctions that will aid him in his battle and make defeating these monsters easier. He must choose wisely, because any mistake can cost him his life. 